I've got my pumpkin cream cold brew and I am ready for spooky season. What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today I have my October TBR. I may or may not have worn this shirt in my September TBR only because this is the only fall related shirt that I have. The Great Pumpkin is coming. October is such a fun reading month. There are so many readathons going on. I have chosen a couple that I'm going to be participating in that I'll talk about in this video. So I'm going to get straight into the video. Don't forget to check my description for updated petitions and donation links and just links to things that are important in the world and to register to vote. Let's get on with my October TBR. The first readathon that I'm still participating in is Latinx Book Bingo, and this is going to be ending on October 15th, which is the end of Latinx Heritage Month. And I talk about these books in my September TBR. Here's the rest of my TBR that I'm planning to finish within the next two weeks. I'm currently reading Don't Date Rosa Santos by Nina Marino, and I have been sleeping on this book. I love it so much. I'm listening to the audio and reading it physically and I am in love. I'm obsessed. I love it so much. I'm very excited to continue it. Um, I'm not going to talk about what they're about just because I talk about them in my September TBR. I also have the group book which is By Any Means Necessary by Candace Montgomery. I also have my nonfiction Born Both in Intersex Life and on ebook I have Juliet Takes a Breath. I have a lot of books to read for Latinx Heritage Month still and I'm hoping to complete them by the 15th. Next is a readathon that I co-host and it is happening October 2nd and this is Readorama. We're doing a weekend edition from October 2nd to October 4th. Um, I know that we're doing a read-in instead of Twitter sprints so information for that is on our Twitter. I unfortunately won't be there but my other host will. The object of this readathon is to complete three of the five challenges and here are the challenges that I picked. The first book completes two challenges which are to read a book by a Black, Indigenous, or person of color author and to read a book with Rama in the title or author and I have chosen a novella which is Mapping the Interior by Stephen Graham Jones. He's an Indigenous author who writes horror. I have seen his work recommended lately because of his latest releases, Night of the Mannequins and The Only Good Indians and I am so excited to read this. I had to buy it because I couldn't find it at my library or find it anywhere probably because it's a novella and I'm just so excited. I heard it's really spooky and a lot of horror and I just cannot wait to read this. So I'm reading this for the two prompts. The last challenge I'll be completing is to read a book by an intersectional author or with an intersectional main character. I have chosen Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is another book that I've seen recommended a lot and I really didn't want to read it because I don't like reading romance. I don't like romance heavy books but I was watching Joel from Fictional Fates and he talked about it in a reading vlog which I'll link down below. The main character Chloe Brown plays The Sims and that sold me. I love The Sims and I don't think I've ever seen a character who plays The Sims and I just love that so I am really reading it for that aspect. But Chloe Brown is also a character who is chronically ill, black, and fat, and so she is an intersectional main character. And I am just really excited to read this because it's gotten so much hype and I'm just interested to see what I like with it. But I do want to preface that I don't read romance, so that's something that's hindering me and I'm nervous that I'm not going to like it because I don't like romance. Um, and so I'm interested to see how I like it, but we'll see. I have it on Hoopla and I'm very excited to read it. The next Halloween related readathon I'll be participating in is Spooktober. I participate in this every year. It's one of my favorite readathons and this is created by Vanessa from Paper Fairy. I love her and she is joined by a group of booktubers. Every year they have a theme and this year it is costume party which is so perfect because no one's going to be going to a costume party this year because we're still in a global pandemic. I mean I won't be going to a costume party. I hope everyone watching this is not going to be going to a costume party and if you are I'm definitely going to be judging you. So I'm going to be going to a fictional costume party and all of the challenges are different elements of a party. So the first element is what costume you are going to be wearing. I'm not really a big costume person. Says the person that has a whole series called booktube costumes every year. At this fictional costume party I would be in a relationship so I have chosen the couple's costume trying to manifest that into 
the world and this is to read a romance and I will be reading Get a Life Chloe Brown. This readathon is also being hosted throughout the whole month of October. The next category is refreshments and this is to pick something that you would get from the refreshments table and I chose the candy bowl because that's the best part of Halloween and this is to read a novella or a graphic novel and I am going to be adding mapping the interior for this because it's a novella. The next category is dance floor playlist and this is to pick a song and I chose thriller and this is to read a thriller. I've chosen When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. I picked this up because Mayana was talking about it on her channel a while back because she got an arc for it and it sold me immediately. She was talking all about it and hyping it up. I have heard that it's a thriller and it also is focused on gentrification and I am just so excited to read this. I think it hit the New York Times bestseller and that's how you know that it's a good book. And last is festivities and I've chosen Jack-o-lantern and this is to read a book with a face on the cover and I've chosen another thriller and this is The Silence of Bones by June Her, and it has a face on the cover. This is a thriller set in 1800 Korea. I had it planned a couple months ago, but I never got around to reading it, and I am very excited. And the last readathon I'll be participating in is the Disability Readathon hosted by Erin and Anna. I am very excited to participate in this. It is happening throughout the whole month of October. They have a whole website dedicated to recommendations and just all about the readathon and I love that so much. This is such a underrated readathon and I cannot wait to participate. There are a couple categories and I really like how they set it up so I really recommend if you have time to put this into your schedule. I really love the challenges because they're not just strictly reading. It's also to go out of your way and follow Instagrammers, to follow bloggers, to watch YouTubers, and just watch disabled creators because as we read their books, we should also be supporting them and they're very underrated in our community. So I'm going to go through the categories and recommend some booktubers that I think you should check out. So category one, there is a challenge to watch a video by a disabled creator. I've actually reached out to some booktubers and bloggers and just creators. So I did reach out to some disabled creators in the community and got their consent to shout them out in this video, as well as talk to them about what usage they prefer when talking about their disability. So here are a handful of people and I hope you will go and follow them, subscribe, watch their content. Wherever platform they are, we notice when you follow and you don't reciprocate the follow. So please reciprocate the follow because they really deserve all of the engagement and the love. So you could even pause this video after I'm talking about everyone and go subscribe and watch their videos and just go and give them the support and continue that support. So here's the list of creators and I'll have their links down below. First, I have Angela from Blonde Books. She is a person with chronic illnesses and cerebral palsy. And if you like my channel, I think you'll like hers because she talks about contemporaries and just a vast majority of books, um, sometimes thrillers, but she does read a lot of contemporary. So if you like my channel, I recommend her. I really like her content. Next is Emma Novella and she has a booktube channel as well as an Etsy shop where she sells art prints. If you like my thumbnails, go over to their channel because they are very similar to the style that I make mine. So if you like my style of thumbnails, you will like their style of thumbnails. And they do a lot of book hauls. And I really like that because you can just get exposed to new books and maybe some books that you didn't know about. So definitely go over to their channel and go and buy an art print or go over and promote and follow their Etsy shop. Next, I have my good friend Kate from Chapter Kate, and I talked about them in my September TBR, so they're just getting an extra shout out. So if you didn't go over to their channel when I shouted them out in September, it's your duty to do it now. Like you don't have any excuses, you have to do it now. They have bipolar disorder and PTSD, which they talk about openly on their channel. They have great videos about mental health. They are a music therapist. And in general, Kate is just a great person. They have a great channel. So like I said, there's no excuses anymore. If you didn't follow them from my September TBR, you're now required to go over and subscribe to their channel and watch a few of their videos. So please go and do that right now. You won't regret it. Next, I have Rogan Shannon, who is a deaf queer booktuber, and I love his videos. 
there are really informative, great recommendations for Queer Lit. He is a co-host in the Queer Lit Readathon, and he just posted a video recently that is called Accessible Media. That video is required to watch. I got a lot of insight from it. This is helping me make my content more accessible, and he just had a lot of really great tips, and I really enjoyed that video. So if you watch any of his videos, definitely watch that one, but also watch his Queer Lit recommendations because he has really good ones. Next, I have Ocean, who I started following from the Transathon because they are the creator of the Trans Readathon. They are an autistic person. On their Instagram, they share recommendations for Queer Lit as well as good representation for autistic people. So go over to their Instagram, follow like a few pictures, and get some recommendations. Next is one of my favorite people, and this is Casper from Wordsborn. They are a great person. I love them. And I could make a whole video just talking about them. They have great content. Their content is so funny. Like, please go over to their booktube channel and watch their videos. Give them likes because they are just so hilarious. I love them so much. Um, their Instagram feed also is impeccable. It's great and I could rave about them all day. They are chronically ill and they do talk about that on both platforms, so just in general, go and watch them. They're great. Next is Izzy and I found her channel through this video and I also was recommended her and I love her channel. I don't know where I've been. I don't know how I've never found her before, but she's great. She has a great personality and she describes herself as a chronically ill person and a disabled person. But like I said, I really enjoy her content so far and I can't wait to watch more. So definitely go over and subscribe to her. Next is Jenna and she has G-E-R-D and I-B-S. On her channel, she talks about comics, but she also has different videos like how to create thumbnails, and I thought that was a really good video. Um, and she just has a wide variety of videos, and if you like comics, I really recommend her channel. So if you're looking for any graphic novel or comic recommendations, go over to her channel. Um, but she also just has a wide variety of videos, and I suggest you just go and watch a few. I'm also going to recommend Anya, who is a creator that I just found. Um, I wasn't able to contact her because I don't know if she has any social media. I couldn't find her. I'm gonna recommend her video where where she talks about books with autism representation, so that'll be linked down below. And last is one of my good friends, Alyssa from Alyssa's Shelves, and I just love her videos and I wish that more people watch them. Um, she is chronically ill. She's very open about her chronic illness and she does talk about the struggles, but she also has a wide variety of books. Um, she isn't big on contemporary, so if you're not big on contemporary, go over to her channel and you can get more recommendations that are not contemporary. Um, and yeah, I just really enjoy her videos and I just wish that more people would watch them because she has really great vlogs and just really great content in general. So those are all of their recommendations. Like I said, everyone will be linked down below. You can honestly just pause this video right here and go and follow everyone and engage with our content and maybe just come back to my video later or don't. I don't, I don't really care. Um, I think I would just rather everyone go and follow them than continue to watch my video. Um, definitely prioritize watching them over me. Um, so please go and do that. I would really appreciate it if you do. I usually get a hundred or more views on my TBR videos. So if a hundred people have watched this, I hope that a hundred people have gone and followed all of these people. And if not, I'm going to be really upset. So please, please go and do that. I hope that I've convinced you enough and that you've gotten some recommendations for people to follow. The first book I'll be reading for the Disabled Readathon fits the challenge to read a book by an autistic writer, and I've chosen Get a Grip, Vivi Cohen. This is an own voices middle grade about a girl named Vivi who is autistic and she is trying out for baseball and it's all about baseball and I am so excited. My friend Ben from Ace of Ben's talked about this book on their blog and just loved it so much and I'm so excited to read this. Another challenge in category one is to read a comic or graphic novel by a disabled author and I've chosen a webcomic and this is I Know You're Mad, a comic about depression by Katie O'Donnell, and I'm very excited to read this. I can also use that webcomic and Vivi Cohen for the prompt in category two, which is to read a book with blue on the cover. There's blue on the cover of Vivi Cohen, and there's also blue on the cover and throughout the comic. 
The last book I'll be reading is for Category 4, and this is to read an anthology by disabled writers, and I have chosen Meet Me at the Intersection, which is an anthology of short fiction, memoir, and poetry by authors who are First Nation, people of color, LGBTQIA+, and living with a disability. Um, the focus of this anthology is on Australian life. So that is my TBR for the Disability Readathon. I am so excited. Please go and check out all the creators that I have mentioned and watch their videos because just hitting the follow and subscribe does nothing. Um, people notice when their views don't match the subscribers. Check out all the creators that I mentioned, especially the host of this great readathon. And now I'm just going to mention some of the other books that I'm hoping to get to that aren't for any readathons. First, I have Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth, and this comes out on October 20th. I was sent it by the publisher. It is 600 pages, and I'm terrified, but I'm very excited. The synopsis says the favorite meets the haunting of Hill House in this highly imaginative and original high bro horror comedy centered around a cursed New England boarding school for girls. It's the author of The Miseducation of Cameron Post. I have not read that because of how long it is and I think this one is a little bit longer but I am very excited to read this so thank you to the publisher for sending it my way. Next I have Winter Counts by David Hesco Widely Widen and this is a crime fiction thriller. I've heard nothing but good things about this book from Indigenous reviewers and I'm very excited to read it. When I am going into a thriller, I don't really want to know much, so I'll just tell you that this is a crime fiction and I suggest to go over to RC's channel where he actually does talk all about the book, so if you want to know more about it, go over to his channel. The next book is Surrender Your Sons by Adam Sass. This is a debut novel about conversion therapy. I've seen this praised and recommended and I'm very excited to read it. I heard that it will break you, make you cry, after Ghost Squad, give it to me. My middle grade reading vlog will be up this month, so you'll be able to understand that reference a little bit more. And the last book I have on my October TBR is Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Moreno Garcia, and this one I have on hold at my library. It is a gothic horror novel, and it is written by a Latinx author. I've also heard this one recommended a lot. Um, I don't think I've ever read a gothic horror book, uh, so I'm really excited. I'm really getting into horror. Thrillers are really fun for me and I just can't wait to read all the spooky stuff. I love horror movies so I'm very excited for this. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this TBR. Um, so now I'm going to just shout out some other readathons you can participate in if you haven't heard of them. Fortnite Frights, which was created by the Artisan Geek. If you're not already following her channel, I don't know what you're doing because she's great. In her announcement video, she was dressed as a bat and she was roller skating, and I highly recommend for you to just go and watch that because it's amazing. And her content is so great. I really love her channel. This readathon is focused on reading horror and thrillers from around the world. There's the Black Oween readathon, which is focused on reading black authors. Next is the Ace Race and this is focused on reading characters on the Ace Spectrum. And my friend Allie at Hardback Hoarder, she has a whole master list of some readathons so I'll also be linking that down below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you will be reading in October. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there. I'm going to be doing some Halloween related videos on there and I'm very excited for it. I'll also be having my annual booktube costumes video Video, and I'm very excited for that one. Um, so if you would like to support me on Patreon, the link is down below. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and I will see you next time. Bye.